We are here at the Acton Fire Station with Steve Barton of Ancus, who is training everybody on the Jaws of Life. We drove up my car today. What did you do to my car? Well, we decided to uh, make it a convertible <laughs> and a few less doors, but uh, they did a good job. Now, Steve, it is really amazing what this equipment can do, and it really can save a life. What is the difference between the older equipment and versus what you showed here today? The older equipment, uh, they ran on a hydraulic system. They were bigger, they were bulkier, they were heavier. They were a little less power. The newer system that Acton just bought, they run on a battery, much more portable, much more powerful, much easier to use, much easier to store. They can be deployed at an accident scene much quicker. And how important is it just to have something being deployed fastly and efficiently versus with the old equipment? Well, speed is of the essence. When you have somebody that's trapped in a vehicle, you essentially have in the medical world about an hour to get them out. They call it that golden hour. To get them out, get them to the hospital, get them treated. So the quicker that we can deploy tools, the quicker we can get them extricated, the quicker they can go to the hospital. Now, this equipment can lift vehicles, cut vehicles, but it's also, you were talking about a child who was trapped in a tree. It's used for other applications as well. Absolutely. These are, these are a rescue tool. These are not just tools that are used to cut vehicles. These tools can be used to, to remove people from inside of things, from under things, from on top of things. Really, your, your imagination um, is what limits the use of these tools. And just working for AMCIS, it must be a good feeling just to know that you're help, helping to save lives. Absolutely, absolutely. This is a fantastic job. I use these tools in my, in my real job. Uh, this is my second job, and it's, it's, it's a good job. And it's fun to know that I can go to these departments, give them some good training, and know that they're putting new tools in service to help their community. Well, thank you for this great information today. And we are going to show his demonstration with the Acton Fire Department tearing up this vehicle, what it looked like before. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you get a good bite. So as he's making that cut, I'm hanging back with the spreader. Not only am I taking an eye on and taking a look at what's going around to make sure that nothing's going on with the vehicle, but as soon as he pops that, he's gonna need me to open up that door more to drop the cutter into that next spot. 